family welcome and welcome back to the channel i hope you are all doing great in today's video i'm going to share with you how to make perfect brown butter sweet potato pancakes your babies are going to love it let's get straight to the video so i'm going to start by warming up my sweet potatoes so for me i popped them in the microwave for 50 minutes to make them a little hot so they are easy to mash. I'm then going to go in with my fork and mash my sweet potatoes as shown in the video making sure there are no lumps on it. Yeah, I'm going to set them aside. Moving on, on my silver bowl I have one cup of all purpose sweet flour. We are going to be making self-rising flour. So to it, I'm going to add one tablespoon of baking powder and a quarter tablespoon of salt to taste. Then I'm going to mix all my dry ingredients together as shown in the video. Moving on, I'm going to add three quarter cup of water at room temperature. I'm going to be adding my water bit by bit as I mix to make my pancake butter. So first, I'm going to be mixing with my spoon as shown in the video so I can get the flour on the sides of my bowl. Then I'm going to go in with my whisk and then I'm going to mix this butter thoroughly first, making sure there are no lumps or flour stuck on the sides of my bowl. I'm going to go ahead and set my whisk aside. Moving on, I'm going to be adding my mashed sweet potatoes and you guys this looks yummy already <laughs> it's like dipping sweet potatoes in yogurt or sour milk yeah look at that <laughs> uh, it looks yummy already so i'm going to go in and mix my sweet potatoes together with my pancake butter as shown in the video and for this I'm going to use my whisk and mix this thoroughly. I'm also going to adjust a little bit of water because my sweet potatoes absorbed some of my water or some of my butter here. Yeah. So I'm going to just go in with my mix, my whisk, I'm sorry, and mix this thoroughly. So I'll leave it with me for a bit and I'll be right back. Moving on, I'm just going to make sure that I get rid of any lumps that are remaining on our butter. I'm just going to go ahead and strain my butter. Like you can see right now, that butter is full of lumps because of the sweet potato that we added. So I'm going to go in and with my sieve and strain my butter this took a little time but perfection yeah we want our butter to be perfect and without lumps so time doesn't matter really provided our butter is lumpless yeah i'm just going to go ahead and add my butter bit by bit to my sieve right there as i strain it into my blue jack so for this i'm just going to be beating my butter with that spoon so it can go through that sieve really quick and easy and after some time i strained all my butter and you guys there's no shortcut for this you just have to strain your butter yeah our butter is ready i'm going to set it aside so moving on let's go ahead and make our brown butter i'm going to add two tablespoons of my margarine to my preheated pot so you can use butter for that if you don't have butter just use margarine like i did to it i'm going to add one tablespoon of ground cinnamon powder and then i'm going to give that a mix as shown in the video and then i'm going to cook it for a minute and like you can see right there that's our butter and our butter is ready yeah I'm going to turn off my stove and then I'm going to go ahead and add my butter 
to my pancake butter yeah <laughs> i'm going to add my brown butter to my pancake butter in my jug yeah something like that i know you understand that and then i'm going to go in with my spoon and give that a good good mix and like you can see right there that's how our butter looks it's lumpless and flowing and beautiful that's how your butter should be it should not be so thin and so thick so moving on let's go ahead and start making our pancakes i'm just going to preheat my pan on medium low heat until it's medium hot and then moving on i'm just going to add my pancake butter and start making my pancakes so the heat has to be low really really low when making your pancakes and then all i'm going to do is just to wait patiently until all the bubbles start to appear on my pancakes you have to wait until your pancakes develop holes yeah or your pancakes become holy yeah i know you understand that then moving on i'm just going to scrape the sides to unstick my pancake yeah something like that i'm just going to use my spoon to gently scrape the sides of my pancake around and around and then in the middle then i'm going to cook the first side of my pancake for three minutes after three minutes i'm going to flip my pancake and then i'm going to give it a little shake rock and roll and then moving on i'm just going to be pressing on my pancake for a minute with my spoon gently as shown in the video and then i'm going to just leave my pancake to cook on low heat for another two minutes so this other side should take again two minutes so in total your pancake is going to take five minutes to cook just one pancake so you guys you want these pancakes to be perfect and really good and delicious look at that that's ready let's set it aside I'm going to again go ahead and add my butter and like you can see our bubbles are forming right there you have to wait for the bubbles to form and come out I'm going to go in with my spoon right there and gently unstick my pancakes I'm just going to move my spoon around and around my pancake and then in the middle to unstick my pancake and you have to do that gently yeah i'm going to wait for my pancake to cook for another three minutes the first side i'm going to cook for three minutes and then all i'm going to do after three minutes i'm going to be checking on my pancake here and then i'm going to flip the other side again and give it a little rock and roll a little shaky shake yeah and then what i'm going to do is to just let my other side cook for another two minutes so like i said before your pancake is going to take a total of five minutes to cook both sides and to make the perfect pancake and like you can see that look at that side it's cooked and our pancake is now ready i'm going to remove it again and set it aside so you guys i'll leave you to watch me so you can see how i did this step by step without any interruptions from me so you can pick the points and anything you need i'll leave you to watch me for a bit and i'll be right back
सो गाइस हम बैक एंड लाइक यू कैन सी आवर फिफ्थ पैनकेक इज रेडी द फर्स्ट वन आई मेड ऑफ कैमरा एंड आई एम गोइंग टू रिमूव इट फ्रॉम माय स्टोव और फ्रॉम माय पैन एंड सेट इट असाइड एंड देन आई एम गोइंग टू गो अहेड एंड ऐड माय लास्ट बटर फॉर माय सिक्स्थ पैनकेक सो द बटर वी मेड इज गोइंग टू मेक Five to six pancakes, depending on the thickness that you like. Yeah, if you like thicker pancakes, they are going to be at least five. Yeah. So, like you can see right now, I just started my batter, waited for my pancakes to form bubbles or to become holy. <laughs> holy, not holy, like pure. like Jesus Christ <laughs> no like not that one the holy in whole h o l e yeah <laughs> that one there so i waited for my pancakes to be holy and then all i did was to just and stick my pancakes with my spoon i'm going to scrape the sides to and stick my pancake and then I'm just going to flip my pancake and then I'm going to wait for this other side to cook for another 2 minutes. I'm going to give it a little shake like I've been saying in the video and this other side took at least 3 minutes and another 3 minutes it took 6 minutes since this batter was a little more and this pancake was thicker. Yeah. I know you understand that. So I had to wait for this to cook for a total of 6 minutes and like you can see I'm checking on it to make sure it's fully cooked. Yeah, even in the inside that's the main reason of waiting and being patient. I'm just going to press my pancake to remove the air inside and like you can see our pancake is ready and looking good so i hope you learned a few things on how to make your pancakes and how to be patient and how to make lampless batter i made this video long so you can see each and every detail on how to make perfect pancakes for beginners yeah And like you can see right there our pancakes are looking good. I'm going to set them aside. So let's go ahead and make our topping. So for our topping I'm just going to make some sugar syrup. So to make my sugar syrup I reused the pot that I used to make our brown butter. I don't want so many plates to pile around. Yeah. They're not easy to wash. I'm just going to add one cup of water to my pot and then to it I'm going to add one cup of sugar. I'm then going to go ahead and mix with my wooden spoon as shown in the video. So I'm going to add half of my sugar and then I'm going to use my wooden spoon to mix so my sugar dissolves and then I'm going to add the rest of my sugar and mix again. to make sure that all my sugar is dissolved so like i said i reused the pot that i used to make my batter i'm then going to go ahead and bring my sugar syrup to a boil and then i'm going to strain it to that white bowl like you can see right there and then i'm just going to serve my pancakes with my sugar syrup as shown in the video If you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family on social media and you guys watch me just support me by subscribing to my channel see you in my next video bye